Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you something so easy to do. Okay, I already fixed this iPhone 13 Pro that come to my shop with a rebooting in Apple logo. Okay, I'm going to give you the steps to check this. The first thing you have to understand is you can't, cannot, okay, do just software just because you say, oh, it's Apple logo, so I'm going to do the software, and that's it. No, 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 no. First of all, you have to check your consumption in, in a graphic or in your uh, power supply, for example. And this one, okay, this one, this is the consumption, the, the one I have, see? The first thing is to start with the uh, one second rule. Remember, I already uh, showed you this. The one second rule is the power of one second, 60 uh, milliamps. And then the PEMIX start working. We have Apple logo and then the CPU is on. When the CPU is on, they, the CPU try to connect with the NAND, okay? This is so easy to understand. I'm going to show you right here. This is the one second power. We, you had to have 60 to 120 milliamps, okay? And the one second power. Here, we are going to have books and LDOs. PEMIC is on, okay? Right here. And sometimes here we have Apple logo. Here CPU is on, right? Because we have Apple logo. And then we had to have right here NAND. NAND because the CPU need to talk, to talk with the NAND and extract all the drivers, all the information, the uh, system and everything and start working. So if uh, we see this graphic, when they try to connect, the, when the CPU tries to connect with the NAND, it's just going down 180 and then off. See? So the problem right here can be in the NAND. So the phone is not connecting with the NAND. With this information, I already know uh, the steps that I had to follow to fix this phone. Okay? To fix an, uh, a phone like, like that one, I'm going to show you the graphic uh, when the phone is working fine. To fix uh, this phone, we are going to do these uh, steps, okay? W the first step is, the first step, I'm going to show you right here. First step, okay? Uh, you had to see the, the uh, cons consumption, okay? In graphic, I don't know if I, uh, I write this one good and, and spend <laughs> my English is so bad, okay? And a graphic, like this one, okay? This one, w you need to see a graphic just to see a consumption. Number two, disconnect, disconnect the uh, flexors, the flexor. For example, the camera flexor, the power button second, ta 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 ta. Okay. Number three, principal, principal lines. Okay. You have to check. Uh, but I already teach you this. You have to check bat. You have to check uh, main, and you have to check boost. This one. 4.1 voltage and you have to check dial mode just to see if you have a leak and also you have to check the 1.8 voltage and the power button okay this is the third uh, step number four we are going to do a retain user data that data flash and tres u tools three u tools just because we are going to try to see if we can save the information for our customers. When a phone comes with an Apple logo to my shop, I already told the customer is uh, like 90% of chance you are going to lose your information. So that's why you always need to talk with your customer before you are doing this kind of repairs because sometimes they're going to lose the information. It's not our fault because like, like for example, if I'm doing a retain user data with a flash with three U tools, I'm going to see because sometimes they try to uh, uh, upgrade the system and they just uh, give a, give us an error. So that's why that's why we can have this problem. I tried the in this phone. I'm going to show you the video and like uh, you see, give me error in the 34 percent. 34% means maybe something wrong with the software or something wrong with the NAND. 
Okay, so I'm going to come to my step number five. Quick, flash, mold, okay, and three su tools. I did this and the phone was going through and we have a phone working. That's because maybe sometimes some uh, bad uh, upgrade or sometimes they have the, uh, the phone with a full memory and that's why uh, we can have this problem. Number six, if this one is not working, number six, I'm going to um, separate uh, the board. The board and try software again because sometimes you can have a problem on the B board and that's why you are going to have a error on the software okay so that's why we are going to separate the boards if you separate the boards and you still have the error so we come to a step six the, ste the step seven is NAN NAN protocol protocol I'm going to show you the NAN protocol uh, later in another video but this one and here you have to ha uh, check voltage and you have to check the PC lines, okay? If you have voltage and the and this line is good, just change, change, then two times, okay? If you still have a problem with this phone, you can uh, check I2C bus. The I2C, you have to check the I2C normal the I2C AP and the I2C AOP. These one is the ones are going to give you errors on uh, when you are doing a restore. If you still have these uh, problems, so we're going to come with the step nine. Maybe you can have a problem with the charging, charging IC. No, no, not right now. Step number, you can have a GPU a coil. GPU coil, uh, I, I don't know how you how I write coil, but the coil, right? The coil, the GPU line. I'm going to teach you this one later how to check the GPU, okay? Number 10, you can have a problem with the charger IC. Just change it. If you still have problems, so your problem is going to be the CPU. And here we have another protocol to check if it's the CPU. This is the steps that I, fo I follow when I have a phone with Apple logo and rebooting, okay? I'm going to show you right now what's the, um, what's the graphic on this phone when everything is working fine, just to you to see uh, how this phone works, okay? Let me just bring right here, right here. I'm going to show you, I'm going to, uh, we have this graphic. This is when the phone have the problem, see? When they did uh, this, one fifth, uh, 1.5 amps, so they're going down, 700, and then down, okay? So I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you an, an, a new one, okay? I'm going to power on the phone and one, two, three. This is the first second power, and then we had to just wait five seconds to the PMIC start working. When we have bloop, the PMIC is on, and then we have Apple logo, and then see, PIM, the, the same one, then 6, 700 something, and then we're going to see the NAND connecting. See, there is the NAND connecting. Now we have the phone is going to power on, and then it's going to, it's just connecting the NAND, it's extracting everything. We have the phone working right here and see our graphic. Now this graphic had to uh, go down, right? We are going to wait a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Well, okay, I'm going to pause it right there. Okay, so if we are here, remember, this one is the same one on this one, see? It's almost the same one, see? It's almost the same one. So we have one second power right here. The PEMIC start working. We have Apple logo. The box and the CPU is start going on. The CPU is on. And then the CPU need to connect with the NAND. Plop, another app. 
See, this is the, the a really good uh, graphic. So we have here the CPU with the NAND connecting in this space, see? This is the, the thing that you had to understand. If we come back in this one, see the, the, the CPU tried to connect with the NAND right here, and this here, they had to connect with the NAND. And if it's not NAND or if the software is corrupted, it's just going down. So that's why I always try software before. But you have to check your graphic. You can uh, do this just just because you see a phone with Apple logo. No, 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 no. You had to see your graphic because what happened if you have in the power second 300 and still Apple logo? That's another thing. Here, the condition is because you have the first uh, the first uh, power in 60. So that's what that means for me, all the outputs of the PMU are good. So that's why I'm doing this. But if I see the first second and 300, 250, that's a different protocol, okay? Just remember this because fixing these fonts are so easy. I hope you guys learned something today. See you in the next video. Adios.